good morning good afternoon and good evening everyone so today i got galaxy note 3 request was coming how to flash stock rom on galaxy note 3 just informing you that uh, the galaxy note 3 model that i have right now is n905 which is having snapdragon processor now if somehow if the set is not booting if it is stuck on boot loop or if it is stuck on the galaxy note 3 logo like you were flashing a custom rom you were flashing a custom recovery somehow file that you flash uh, make the set not booting you can simply follow this video steps you can flash the stock rom the set will get repaired and one more thing for those who are using a custom rom and they want to go back to stock rom they don't know how to do that you can also watch this video and you can simply flash the stock rom back on your mobile phone now the things must do before flashing is you must know that what model number do you have uh, for those who are who are using custom rom they must be having a data on the internal storage so first of all save all the internal storage data because stock rom flashing will erase everything must charge the mobile phone battery to 70 or 80 percent this is an old phone and also the battery must be weak so charge the battery around 70 to 80 percent now starting the procedure before going further do not forget to subscribe my channel and also click the bell icons also click the select all thank you so much this procedure requires data cable and computer now i will move towards my computer screen informing you that this is the website which the link is provided in my video description click the link this website will get open now click or come here and click on the search bar just type n9005 you will see the result galaxy note 3 snapdragon n9005 click on the click on the galaxy note 3 the other web, uh, web page will get open now you all you have to do is to look for your country like for example i am living in asia and like out of the box this mobile phone was having a saudi arabia firmware so i will go for the saudi arabia now for those who are living like out of asia in other region i mean to say like in europe north america you can also look for the your desired country you can simply click the uh, the country list the provided in the list and go for the downloading firmware now i will click on the saudi arabia the other page will get open come down here and definitely you will see the list of the provided firmware go for the last release click on this link here the other page will get open come down here and you can simply click any one of it like download on browser or download from same same fw server the firmware will start download now i will minimize this web page and i will go for my to my downloaded folder links provided in my video description make a new folder on your computer and download download the samsung usb driver for mobile phone must download this uh, file and double click the file install it on your windows we will connect the mobile phone with computer and the driver will get auto installed which is must requires without driver the flashing will not be done the computer will not detect the phone now download the Odin 3.10.7 i will advise you do not go for the latest or the last Odin version because the latest version is for the latest phones this note 3 is a old mobile phone so must go for the 3.10 extract the 3.10.7 the Odin file and then also extract the firmware file right then click the Odin extracted folder and you will see the Odin file here double click the Odin 3.10.7 to let open the Odin software then come here and click ap section you need to go to your downloaded folder where you have downloaded the, the firmware file here we go this is the extracted folder of my firmware of saudi arabia the lollipop version double click to open the folder and the file is here right click on it then click open the Odin will start uh, making the file ready just wait for it and when you see leaf cs 
that means that the ordin is ready now coming back towards my mobile phone mobile phone must be power off in case if you don't know the set is power off or not just remove the back cover of your mobile phone then remove the battery for once and reinsert the battery once again so this will make sure that the set is uh, finally power off now boot the set into ordin mode for that you need to press and hold few keys of the mobile phone first of all press and hold the volume down key then press and hold the home key and then press and hold the power key in few second the set will boot into warning screen here we go when you see warning screen leave all the keys and on this screen just press once the volume up key and the set is booted into ordin mode right and you can read the model number here now connect the cable with mobile phone and for the first time if you are connecting the mobile phone with computer the computer will start installing the drivers connect the cable with mobile phone and the definitely the ordin if you come back to computer screen the ordin will show this sign which means that the set is connected and also it is added and then click start and definitely you will see the flashing procedure will start which will take a little bit time like for 4 to 5 minutes just wait let the flashing complete then we will continue and when flashing gets completed the mobile phone will uh, auto restart you can simply disconnect the cable from the mobile phone first and we are done from the computer you can simply click the reset and then click exit now the mobile phone will boot into recovery it will start doing the wiping thing and uh, now here we have to do one more thing remove the battery first let the set power off then reinsert the battery now the set is power off now we have to boot the set into custom uh, sorry stock recovery for that must uh, press and hold the volume up key then home key and then power key just wait when set uh, power on then release all the keys because you can see that recovery booting now wait let the set boot into stock recovery here we go now uh, finally we are in the stock recovery now uh, press the volume down key come down to the wipe data factory reset and then power press the power key then come down again to yes delete all user data then press the power key the things will get started and it will soon will be done here we go and you can see that reboot system now is already selected then press the power key to reboot the set now the mobile phone will start booting into stock rom you can see galaxy note 3 and 9005 just wait for it let the first boot complete then we will continue so finally the galaxy note 3 and 9005 is back to stock rom i will go to my mobile phone settings then we'll go to general and uh, if i tap on about device definitely you will see the model number n9005 device name galaxy note 3 and the android version 5 the same build number that i have flashed like right now so my set is uh, back to stock rom and this is how to flash the stock rom to bring the set back to stock rom thank you do not forget to like the video and uh, do not forget to subscribe my channel thank you so much i will see you next in next video till then goodbye